Um, in our last lesson, we worked on the tags. Um, in this lesson, we are going to work on the commenters page. Okay, so we are going to start by creating our commenters.html uh, file and then we use uh, Bootstrap 3 template HTML5 and we'll change a few things as we've done um, a few times now. So just add HTTP here. I found it didn't work without HTTP from the local host machine. Okay, so the title will have our commenters and let's add our default uh, CSS here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get rid of this. I'm going to go into approved, uh, minimize and copy everything in the body section and paste here. Okay, so we can uh, do a few tweaks here and there. So I'm going to take active from comments and put active uh, here, commenters. And then let's minimize uh, the side menu, uh, minimize the header. And uh, content starts here, so we want to keep that inner content. We want to keep everything inside inner content. So let's get rid of uh, the search row and uh, get rid of the row, comments row, and get rid of the second uh, comments row and select that and get rid of that. So we want to have everything that we do inside the content inner. So just remove some of the blank space and we can start writing some HTML. And uh, we could tweak a few more things. So in the header, I'm going to get rid of this. And I will use, um, I'll put a column instead, uh, column MD, three, and then another one, nine. Okay, so we're going to do some uh, responsiveness um, here at some point. So I want to say, show me all our comments. Okay, and here we are going to have a button, an extra small button, uh, type primary. And um, I'm going to say, pull this to the right. Okay, and change this to create new article. Um, so clear fix is there, so everything else is as we want it. Um, let's go ahead and uh, preview uh, preview this. I'll go to admin and commenters is our new page and that's what we have so far. That's to the right and to the left. Now this is what we are going to recreate. So let's um, let's start with um, inside content inner and have a table, uh, just an ordinary table with a, a table hover. And I'm going to copy this line and paste it a few times. And we're going to have the first one is going to be our ID. So I'll put a hashtag there, just indicates um, numbers. Uh, we have full name. We have an email from the person who's left a comment. And we have a status and will have uh, when this was created. And that's what we have. So very easy, bootstrapped helped out a lot. So we're going to do the same here with our table D TDs, table dimensions. So this would be the number. Okay, so this will obviously come from the database at some point. And the full name of the person who's left the comment and the email address of the person who's uh, left a comment will be displayed like so, and would have the status. So the status would be um, a label. Okay, so it could, uh, you could decide what the label system would be. For me, I'm going to have um, something like active and inactive type of stuff. Um, when it was created, 
again if it's a database system the, the data would be uniform if you're going to use slash or dash or whatever so okay so here we paste this here um, we could change this to John Doe and John Doe and let's assume that this is not active so it's pending for example so active and pending sounds good and we could just change this all right so if we reset the page you can see um, it's looking very similar to this and we did this very quickly and to we'll change this to two and um, so this is table hover uh, from bootstrap so we could hover over any row and you can see it has that um, background color that comes with it so there are different types of table we did um table uh, strapped before all right so but when we uh, reset the screen um, reduce the size you can see it doesn't degrade properly so we have a few uh, responsive um, aspects to deal with so let's start with this here so I'm going to say for small devices we're going to have this to be column SM3 and I want this to be 9 okay and for extra small device we want it to be 4 and we want this to uh, to be eight. <clears throat> okay, so let's see what we have. Reset the page and resize. That's fine. We could see we could see that is in the shot, but there's still a bit of a, a gap. Okay, so what I could decide is that um, we probably don't need uh, to have created. Uh, displayed on small devices sometimes it's good to hide elements of the page for small devices so when it was created might not be necessary information um, in this case so I'm just going to say hidden uh, for extra small okay so now when we resize this screen down here everything is fine and at this point the date uh, goes so that's what we want so that's fine that works but but if we have a look here, we see all comments um, hasn't has dropped down, hasn't been displayed on one line. So we could um, we could sort that out by increasing this to five, and um, obviously decreasing this to eight to seven. Sorry, and that should fix that for us. And there we go. So uh, we have done a few things in this lesson uh, it was very straightforward um, but it's something that we've done before so in the next lesson uh, we are going to work on the settings page and um, that's where this is where this lesson ends and I will see you in the next lesson